Yo, check it out, I gotta speak the truth About the hardest working small channel in the crypto booth He's the crypto father, the one and only Putting in the hours, never getting lonely He's grinding day and night, making videos Welcome back to the Crypto Father channel I am the Crypto Father And today is the 14th of August In today's video, we're on a path Once again to expose yet another scam So make sure to smash up the likes on this video Subscribe to the channel Share the video with everybody who you think should see it because scams suck and it's so easy to fall for it and people fall victims to these scammers all the time um, and it's very unfortunate. So luckily there are people out there who are doing their job, who are doing their part, who are keeping their eyes open and are looking after others. Once again, I was informed of this while I was in the process of engaging with these scammers very cautiously due to my past experiences. but. There was someone who contacted me um, and helped me to bring my awareness to a higher level and um, and confirm that it's a scam. So watch till the end so you know what's going on and you don't get lured in by these scammers. I'm going to go through the steps of how I was contacted so you know what to expect in case this happens to you. So on X, I received a message from ApexBJ or BT that says, Hello, I'm Lee J. I really liked your Twitter profile and your ideas. I'm a representative of the NFT project and I want to offer you to work as a moderator and support member for us. This is the second time somebody has contacted me about the same thing. So again, my feelers were up already, but I decided to pursue it further because I wanted to actually see if it is a scam and uh, despite the fact in the back of my head I knew it was a scam but it's always you know nice to see these salaries so uh, vanity and uh, greed will get you into trouble basically <clears throat> please write to us about it we will tell you more about our project and about the work we pay salary daily weekly salary starts from $900 I said do share a bit more about this but this is the initiating uh, uh, message that is often sent out to people on X. So the message I received back is Party Chaos Game. Hello again, I am a co-founder of the Party Chaos Project. They have a link tree right here, which I get to in just a second. Our project is complete and ready to launch, and we have an initial base of players and investors. At the moment, we need to complete our team composition. We would like to offer you the role of moderator to, of the Discord and gaming environment. We pay daily working days, our Monday, Friday official, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I said, I am from Canada, fluent in English, just to give them some ideas. I mean, these are, this is information that everybody uh, can see easily. So no problem. Then I was given a link to their Discord and asked to proceed and complete a form on Discord. So I went on Discord and joined the group and uh, immediately I was sent to ask to open a ticket, which is what I did. This, by the way, is a recording. This just occurred a couple of minutes ago um, and I have it set up on the desktop because that's how it takes uh, VIM. But this is a recording, so this transpired and actually uh, is done. I am blocked from, from the channel. But this is what it looked like. And I was asked to go to the channel and open a ticket, which I did. In the ticket, I was asked to fill a form. And I can't show you the form because, again, like I said, this is a recording. So I had the ticket sitting open for a few days. Um, in the meantime, I was contacted by another person who asked me whether I was contacted by um, by these people, by the, by the Party Chaos team, and offered a job and uh, so a conversation ensued at which point i was directed to an article written on medium and the medium article runs as follows web3 gaming scam alert party world and party royale scammers tried to mimic party icons the real game so the real game is party icons you can look it up i did party icons can be found right here and this is the website party icons this is the scam site party chaos they're identical websites basically just a simple ripoff there are some differences between the websites basically they just hijack the website and put their own logos on it so party icons has a video of the game tutorial or game sample while 
party chaos the scam site has this dude walking through a door so i don't know if this is an older video from party icons quite possibly going back to the article so in the article it says party icons is the original party world are the scams um and the other name that the scammers use is party royale but now apparently it's party chaos in addition so how does the scam work scammers build trust in dms answer questions etc drop drop a link tree updated to hub xyz that is right here hub xyz get you to sign up to a zoom meeting using calendy this was in 2022 so things have changed right now they run it on discord um and there is no need for sign up you can just go to discord open a ticket fill out some forms give them some information and then quite possibly they might lure you into a conversation this is something that happened in the past as well in discord in the same fashion um, I was contacted, offered a job, dragged to a Discord channel in which I was asked to uh, fill out some forms and I think I gave them some initial information of where I'm from, what language I speak and stuff like that. And then luckily I was contacted by another person who um, made me aware of the fact that these were scammers and they were impersonating another game of which he was a part of. So like I said, there are luckily some people out there who are looking after uh, the crypto community and and look making sure that people don't get scammed so thank goodness for that so they're doing their part so i'm doing my part right here so number three step uh, show up to the meeting talk about the gig pretend to interest you uh play off human emotions uh offer you decent money vanity complain complimenting you on appearance knowledge blah 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 basically they fluff you up a little bit uh make you feel good so you feel more comfortable um and you know quite possibly continue with the scam then they want to quickly move to you uh move you to let's play the game containing malware so the idea is that if you go to the website you should be able to um, download and if you go here this is party chaos so that's the scam site if you go here and you click start now you get redirected to this download there is windows download mac download um, and then there are other that are coming soon but download is misspelled the n is backwards yeah i know it's probably supposed to be like that but whatever so it you're asked to download a game which is questionable right there although the original one has a download as well download the beta version but if you go here nothing pops up so not sure what's happening here nevertheless once you download the software you obviously uh, become your computer becomes infected with malware which then steals everything and uh, anything possible on the computer that there is to steal credit card numbers passwords um access keys everything you have to go to the website download it it is not on the big name launches because of insert excuse so you will have to download it from the website Next, they want you to run the game so it loads up their malware and gives them control over your system. I never get beyond. So this person never got beyond this point because he is using Warden, which is instantly stops all files trying to change any binaries. Now, the article lists the scammers Twitter accounts as well. Co-Music ETH and apparently he's been blocked by them. Co-Music ETH is one of them. Party World is the scam website here so again party world doesn't exist anymore unless it's still there but it's just another another twitter account account suspended account suspended michael elberg is still present it's, he's one of the people that is listed as um a co-founder yeah co-founder and then there's uh manager who is randy blair and and other people and i guess the funny part is here uh, adrian lamo it says state actor, publisher, author, uh, but they have him listed as a dev. So they just picked up some random X accounts and added them to their profile as team members. I haven't dove in to uh, OpenSea and NFTs and all of that, but, um, but apparently they do have that as well. And I'm not going to go all the way into the rabbit's hole. But uh, there are some screenshots of the Zoom call, Maurice Wang. If you made it this far, you should know I recorded the entire conversation. Fantastic. That's cool. Maurice Wang, 
this is the dude we're looking for an advisor and i want wanted to see blah 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 this is the calendly um summary their version of interactive operations while they are live on a video call with the victim is the ultimate since very few people will talk about being swindled or scammed when talking face to face with someone they count on shame keeping the victim quiet afterward as well so this is it this is the guy now let's have a look, quick look at some of the profiles so the founder who's the founder michael elberg uh with 8,000 followers and apparently um this is the founder now i don't know it's hard to tell whether this person is a real entity or and their profile was just stolen and added to that particular website or if this is um i assume so because this wouldn't be a person willingly putting the name on a scam like that and exposing themselves doxing themselves like that right there is mara hishi uh which is another the co-founder the artist is right here uh e-commerce this sto left their DeFi metaverse advising and so on there is head manager apparently who is randy hr department doesn't exist sadly um and the developer is myra kurt content creator community builder market strategies and token marketing and apparently turned creator or dev rather as well um not sure if this is a picture of the actual people so if this is all questionable but they do have a link to a white paper a discord obviously and all the other very convincing things so after receiving the message and reading the article i went back to the discord channel um and decided to just blatantly flat out ask them if this was a scam and so i did that is this a scam i typed and that was posted and immediately i was banned you can see in the top right here it's uh, uh the channel is still there these are some messages I received from people telling me that this is a scam. I will get to those just in just a second as well. Par Party Chaos is right there still. So I have received a ban. You got banned from Party Chaos for five weeks and one day. Too many infractions. Whatever that means. Too many infractions. I asked a simple question. And this question was, is this a scam? And immediately I was banned. So I assume that they have a bot locked in. Anytime somebody mentioned a scam or puts in the word scam, you get booted immediately. Bad word usage. Scam is not a good word in a scammy environment. And so I was put into a ban immediately. And within literally less than a minute, this progressed from, you see the group right here it's still present and while i was scanning they just deleted me so i was booted from the channel so um that's how fast it is i wasn't taking the bait and i got booted i didn't realize it but there were two people actually who contacted me um this was the other one subverted norms sent me this link saying party chaos scam alert subverted norms posted uh an article about this on twitter already and this person sent me a link on discord alarming me to the fact that this is a scam so thank you very much for that so all is right with the world again so be wary party chaos if you are contacted by them or any other entity offering you a job on uh, you know on a game on web3 games offering you a job out of the blue and i asked them my question to them was let me ask you a question as well though how did my mistake here how did is how is it that you have contacted me for this position because this is just a random con con contact and he went i had to say your task is to process and resolve tickets in our discord server um answer questions blah 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 but they didn't answer my question. So I said, you didn't answer my question. And the answer was contacted randomly. X recommended your account to me. They just hire random people willy-nilly. So if that's the answer, if there is no specific answer, uh, and even if there is, they might smarten up over time seeing this video or, or realizing it, or maybe they're not that smart. They might come up with a better excuse. But I mean, you don't get contacted randomly by a company that is 
uh, trying to have DMs. There are thousands of people scrambling to, to get jobs like that, to get hired by uh, a Web3, you know, development, developing company to do that, to work in DMs, to work um, as an admin of a group um, and get paid for that, right? It's a dream job. I mean, it's uh, it's distance work. Um, you, you have your own hours. You can do it on the go. You can do it from anywhere. Um, I do it all the time, but I don't get paid for it. So unfortunately, it's a volunteer job uh, in, in one of the other ones. But anyway, this Ape XBT fella, who is this? Let's message him and see what he has to say. Um, it's quite likely that I might get an update for being blocked from this degenerate gambler, Profit Maxi, Web3 content creator, Reason Exchange. Let's see what happens. So that's it. Make sure to be aware of it. Make sure to not get suckered into believing that you are special in some way by being chosen randomly on X or being chosen randomly on some other platform, Discord or wherever. They do it through Discord as well. They contact you directly through Discord. So make sure you don't fall victim to that because you could lose a lot more than just a couple of thousand dollars by having the keys to your wallet hijacked. Uh, losing access to your computer could be a lot worse. Make sure you share this content with everybody because it's important. There are people out there who look out for people like myself or, or other people who may get suckered into it. Um, and so they're doing their part. They, there's three people that are, have contacted me on two different occasions right now uh, regarding, regarding two different scams. Um, and so make sure that this video is shared, shared with a wider audience, make people aware of this scam because we need to get rid of scams, man. They give crypto a bad name um, and they, they, they do irreparable damage to those who lose money. It's extremely sad. So don't let it happen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I will see you next video. Crypto for the album.